Hi there, this is going to be a general daily reading for Tuesday, October 1st. Hello, October. Month number 10. 10 is about completions. Many of you have been closing out, you know, huge life cycles, very much so the world card, right? Saturnian lessons. Mm. There's closure that's coming. And on my live this morning, XI underscore Missy underscore XI, I mean, the whole reading was screaming endings. You know, we had Freya come out, which is there is a beginning within every ending. And then we had, of course, from the Angel Tarot deck, you know, the Ten of Swords, endings, and the very first card being Death, Angel Transformation. Like, I mean, we can go on and on and on and on and on. But you see where we're going with this. 10 is completion. It's not endings. It's completion, meaning an ending already happened. And we've made peace with something and closed it out. Close the book, put it away, and we have our new book in our hands is basically what that feels like. All right, let's go. Um, the reading I just put up, the new intimate reading I put up on my website called I Know It's You was stunning. I watched it myself several times. <laughs> Remember now, all readings are not going to resonate with everybody. It's just, you know, depends on what cycle you're on and it depends on what resonates with you. But yeah, if people keep asking me, well, when are you going to put one up? I just did. I can't do them so close together because, you know, sometimes I'm not guided to. But that was the newest one. Click on the link below. It will take you to my website and it's titled I know it's you I'm basically talking about somebody that's watching and spying and it's like we go I know it's you I know you're the one but I think that the, the realization comes suddenly <laughs> this fan uh, um, I think the realization comes when you don't expect it or it just the way it comes I don't know we also have the wheel of destiny this morning oh my lord oh my lord I was gonna put them back and spirit said nope as you can see they're all the same color because they're all cups middle of these cards is the ten of cups home we have here the Six of Cups Support, the Three of Cups Celebration, the King of Swords Decisions. A decision is made. Somebody is going to choose somebody. I think it's an old somebody. In that live that I did, I was channeled something old and something new. Not something old and something new. Something old in something new. And then here we have it, the Ace of Cups. It's definitely love. Ugh, he makes a decision. He chooses. Sometimes the king is also a woman. She chooses. Three of Cups celebration, but is also known as the card of reunions. Six of Cups, yes, it's support in this deck, but Six of Cups is a very old past life soulmate. But this is also somebody coming back from your past. Could have been somebody that you didn't have dealings with for a really long time. In this lifetime. Something old in something new. Someone from your past comes into your new cycle, comes back into your life. See what I'm saying? Something old in something new. Ace of Cups love. So this King of Swords chooses the one that he loves. I think that something about it too, people are not going to be pleased with it in some way. I don't know how. And it's all cups and then there's a sword, a decision. Drowning in emotions here too. Could be... Mm, Air and water, right, so far. It's like they're drowning in their emotions. And then a decision is finally made after... I feel like this was what they tried to use to make the decision. And what they ended up realizing was they had to use both. 
extreme discernment here, right? I need to use my 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 mind and my my heart. It's like, is it mind over heart, heart over mind? Like, what is a decision? Well, the decision is it's destiny and, and it's like destined and faded and like no matter what i do it's always been you or it's always gonna be you it's like they decide after much debate uh see i showed it to you on the bottom of the deck because i felt that it was very relevant and here it comes Here's the Ace of Pentacles, Abundance. You have two aces in a row. Ace of Cups of Love, Ace of Pentacles, Abundance. So this is the jackpot. Because this is love and money. This is security. Uh, this is also, for some of you, this is a home. Moving. For me, Ace of Pentacles has always been moving or career change. This could be getting a job with more money. Starting your own business and it's super lucrative. Aces are new beginnings. There's something new happening it's this it, like freya's card said right freya's card says there is a beginning within every ending illusions are revealed and released so if something was it's like something remember i was singing for like the longest fucking time i mean like the whole year i think it was something's there that wasn't there before but it was if you and this person was never in a relationship, it's like you were romantic, but then it didn't work out or something. I don't know how. That's if, you, if you've met in this life. And let's say, for example, you didn't meet in this life yet, right? And this is just a very old past life soulmate coming into your life. It's like they come at the pinnacle. They come when you're already at the top. How long have they been channeling the word pinnacle? Paramount and shit like that to me, you know? The, the mountain top, the mountain peak. But specifically, pinnacle and paramount are the two words that they've constantly channeled to me. It's like you meet them when you're at the top, but you also meet them when the cycle closes and ending, you know, brings a new beginning. New beginning can only happen with an ending. You are the high priestess, the angel of power, but the high priestess is also the guardian of secrets. See, when I said it's that when you're at the pinnacle, it's when you're at the, the it's, it's when you have called all of your power back to you. And the saying, again, is so very true. Um, I found you when I found me. When I called all my power back to me, when I became whole, that's when this kind of just manifests. And whoever this is, whether it's someone from your past in this life or from your past from past lives, however this is going to work, a decision here is made. And maybe the decision is on you. I don't know. You have your judgment, angel of the past. Yeah, it's definitely deep, deep, deep soulmate past love. Look at the two dolphins. Do, 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 do. it's a call call to action but these two two dolphins here are very symbolic okay dolphins mate for life too it, it, it's a symbol of like soulmate love too also protection and things of that sort now but some of you are going to be like oh my god oh my god that's relevant the chariot this could be cancerian energy it's the angel of guidance and the hermit the angel of reflection could be virgo There's been a period of time of going within. Maybe there was a period of time of separation, of singleness. The hermit is alone, right? Number nine. Nine is all about being single. That's why the nine of pentacles card. She's just flourishing all by her damn self. Single. You guys always hear me say that, that it's about single. The hermit, single, alone, but it's reflecting. The chariot's coming along to move this along, to carry this forth. The chariot brings you to victory. The lovers, angels of commitment and the five of swords loss. This could be Gemini energy, right? This is a decision in love. 
There is tremendous gain from tremendous loss. Some people here, and we talk about the endings again here with the new beginnings with Freya and the cycles and such. Somebody could be coming out of a period of time where they had tremendous loss. And then, you know, the thing about this is, is I, I say the same thing myself. I say I'm living my best life, but at the same time, my life feels like it's falling apart, you know, with the loss of my grandparents. And I'm at the pinnacle, but yet it felt like I, I took a tumble. That's how this feels. It feels like they've had tremendous loss, but yet they're somehow at their pinnacle. Maybe they were knocked off of their pedestal, and that was a lesson that they had to learn. Maybe this had nothing to do with the loss of love. Maybe this has to do with the loss of power. Remember, you have the high priestess, the angel of power. Maybe this person lost their power. And, and that's kind of what, what, what their loss was, you know, their ending right here. Maybe it was a reality check. Whatever it is, it's bringing something new here because, you know, endings happen. But also, I feel like somebody made this conscious decision here to choose to let something go. I choose to let this girl, to let this go. And we have the world with the Ten of Wands. The world is the card of completion, angel of success. You have successfully completed this and made the right decision by letting it go. Making peace with what, what, what was. Ten of Wands is burdens, letting go of this, another card of completion. In the reading that I did on live, there was like 10 came out like four times. And then we had completion, and it was just screaming tens of completion. And here we have another 10, back to back with the world, because the world is the card of completion. The world is the omega, right? It's the expansion. This is, if you feel like it could not get worse than this, it, you're right, it's over. The burdens that you have been carrying, for some of you, the burdens of being single and carrying the load all by yourself, it's finally over. For some of you, that was the lesson that you needed to learn was to carry the load and the burden alone and to fuck, fucking stop all this, you know, codependent bullshit that you were in. For some of you, this is about recognizing what love is. Theft, along with death, angel of transformation. So it could have been death. Like, like for me, it was death. Like I just said, death of my grandparents. For some of you, a tremendous loss here, right, is what brought upon this tremendous transformation here with death. This is also Scorpio energy. Seven of Swords, theft. It's funny because in the live, the last two cards that I pulled were the Two of Cups and the Seven of Swords being deception. Something has to happen this way, and it's not that it's deceptive. But it's that something need something snuck by you. It went below the radar. I mean, for fuck's sake, the, the reading is crowning this Ace of Swords victory. The theft is, I feel like something, it's, it's like you're the kind of person that nothing gets by you, but this got by you. You see what I'm saying? It doesn't have to be somebody stole from you because I don't feel like that. I don't feel like, oh, somebody stole money from you. That I'm, I'm not saying that they didn't, but I'm saying that that's not what's relevant. What's relevant here is I feel like something got by you that, that don't normally get by you. And also, this sounds cheesy as shit too, but for some of you, somebody stole your heart. I know that's cheesy as shit. You guys know I don't do cheesy, honey, but that'd be cheesy. Somebody stole your heart. Shit. Okay, now. I hope you guys enjoyed this <laughs> Tuesday reading. And reminder, if you want to book a reading with me, click on the link below. Please make sure you already know what you want to book before you email me, okay? Oh, the rest of the Serenity bracelets are going out. And I didn't get to do Reiki on the bracelets. I was supposed to do Reiki on them Sunday and prep them for shipping yesterday, but... I have that sciatica nerve pain coming back again in my lower back, yeah? which is ironic because I had it last Libra season also. And it mysteriously just came back. So I cannot do Reiki when I'm in pain and I don't feel well. It's just, it just doesn't work like that. So I, I can't do the Reiki on the bracelet. So I'm hoping that tonight and tomorrow I'll feel a little better and I will do the last juice of the Reiki on the bracelets and I'll ship them out. It's 11-11 right now here in Hawaii. All right, you guys, I'll see you guys later. Love you, bye.